Hey everybody, Gary with Base Camp Trading. Let's take a look at the gold chart today. Um, gold during the London session you know, pushed up and then actually changed direction. You had a lower low and a lower high, followed by another lower low. Came down here, hit the 50 EMA. We know that on the 30 minute chart, the 50 EMA is always respected quite well. Got a couple bounces here, pushed up. Left this topping tail, set up the bear flag, and then during the beginning of the U.S. session, that bear flag actually triggered. Some people traded that, able to grab a, a quick target off of that. Wasn't a big push. Again, went down here, hit the 50 EMA, started to bounce. But also, at this time, we were about to have a news release, and we don't trade news releases. So while this was a reversal bar, we had this bottoming tail off of support. Um, we weren't trading here. Again, we had a news release happening. and So we passed on that. And then we got this really strong bullish bar. It opened at the bottom, closed at the top, or near the top. Caused the 5 and the 13 to cross to the upside. So at this point, our bias is to the upside. We're looking for bullish trades. And we drilled into the Unirenko chart, and we took a couple trades off of that. We got this nice strong push up, got significantly overvalued. At the same time, we set up this reversal doji, and we actually triggered that to the downside. And you can see this is a really bearish bar, opened at the top, closed down near the bottom, pushed all the way down to the um, 13 EMA, found a little support, bounced back up to the 5 EMA. But this body is all selling. And then this next bar opens right here and pushes all the way down to the 50 again. And uh, But this, again, at that time especially, was another really strong bearish bar to the downside. So, again, that set up a couple of little short trades on our Unirenko charts. But then gold reversed. We ended up leaving this really long, long bottoming tail. The body of this bar was all buying. So this was a pretty strong bullish bar. You know, the buyers had bought it up and actually took extra um, ticks to the upside. So they had control of this bar. The next bar opens at the bottom, closes at the top, triggers the bull flag and the strong hammer. So this is a double confirmation for a move to the upside. We had the bull flag set up, and this was a really strong bullish bar to the upside. Trigger that. So at this point now, we're looking for long trades in gold. We get a couple off the Unirenko chart, get a nice push to the upside, and then just go into kind of consolidation and chop up and down throughout the rest of the day. But we were able to get some uh, really nice trades on our Unirenko chart off of our bias from the 30-minute chart. And this is what that looked like on our Unirenko chart. Right in here was where the 5 and the 13 were crossing to the upside, and then right in here is where that bar triggered. Right there, as we were making this wick off the 18, you had a Trender Pro 2.0 signal. We were triggering a 30-minute trigger. Our moving averages are all in alignment. Momentum is positive, so this is a good valid entry. And these are four tick bars, so that was actually good for potentially $400 per contract. Again, depending on how you manage it, you know, we take targets off as we go, 10, 20, 30, 40 usually. Um, so possibly $400 per contract. Again, depending on how you're managing your trade. Then we get the pullback. We get it a fast line zero touch set up here. So momentum is resetting giving us room for our trade to accelerate in the direction we want to go. And so we get a, a nice wick off the 34, get a nice strong push to the upside. Again, that was, was good for up to $400 per contract, Again, how you, depending on how you're managing your trade. And at this point, we're hitting significantly overvalued now. So we're hitting significantly overvalued, forming divergence on momentum. So we're not trading any of this, even though, you know, gold was really strong today. And these moves would have actually let you make some money. But we're passing on these. Momentum was not confirming our price action. And then right in here is where that uh, reversal doji was forming. 
and that ended up triggering to the downside and while it was triggering to the downside we were breaking under the smooth 50 our moving averages were crossing and we were turning bearish on trender pro this is a more of aggressive short trade we're basically trading a color change on the Unirenko off of a 30 minute trigger so it's a little more of an aggressive trade but still valid and uh good for three targets off or $300 per contract we get the pullback catch the wick off the 18 and it was only good for uh uh one contract which was $100 per contract but hey you know we got some short setups and some long setups um, in gold off of a big move in gold today.